Ooh, what's up everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim playing in Full Grip Games casual little league tournament today. Here's Jarrett Grimes. What's up? Yeah, so just played Jarrett. Jarrett. God, I'm so sorry. I, see, I, was, I was winging it. Ooh, what's up everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games playing in the league tournament tonight. Here's Jarrett Mesher. Called him Jarrett Grimes first time. That was really embarrassing. So this is actually take two. But we just played in, in our little league tournament. I'm playing a little executor. We're playing with the new long Lost Thunder cards legal. Jarrett was playing, what were we playing, Jarrett? Garnivore Ninetale. Oh yeah, love that deck. Jarrett and I both love Guardy. Jarrett actually smoked me at the Pennsylvania Regional Championship, <laughs> so like that was kind of tough. With Guardy Swampert, love Guardy Swampert. But it's been a lot of fun here. Jarrett and I are about to play some 2006 up 1-0 on the tournament. We'll see how the rest of it goes. Check this beautiful deck out. We've got the Eggman. I actually just got my hands on these Egg Boys. Matt Price was nice enough to sell them to me. They are more expensive than I thought they would be for a rare from Forbidden Light. But he is a beautiful, beautiful dragon egg boy and i am excited about this deck it's a lot of fun to play i mean look at all those rainbow energies the rainbow type i mean they're not actual you know what i'm you know what i'm talking about playing against brady round two brady's gonna see if he can get me back for the last time that i stole a win off him Just finished round two, played against Brady's Buzzwool deck. Pretty sweet deck he had there. Yep. <laughs> had Zeb Stryka in it and a lot of Ultra Beasts, which uh, made Sceptile here our best friend. That was great. Got a little sketchy there at first because I couldn't find any Grass Energy, so we'd racked up a ton of damage, and I actually had two Grass Energy in the discard pile because an egg got knocked out early, but we were able to juice our guys back up with one of the shuckle, the energy drink attack. That was nuts, that was awesome. And then our board just had tons of grass energy on it and there was nobody that he could damage. So that was uh, pretty good. He started loading up a Diancy, but the Di yeah, we Guzman that out, took care of it. And 2-0. Uh, oh. Round three, playing against a good friend of mine, Josh Vardos. Uh, there is a rumor that he may have Ultra Beasts in his deck. So this is going to be very fun. Right, Josh? Yeah, I can't wait. Josh just got egged. Ah, man, get that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that was actually a crazy game. Josh is not playing Ultra Beast like I had thought. In fact, he's a liar uh, and was playing the Poison Barb Spread deck, the Barb Special. And uh, that was actually kind of tough considering I prized both of my Shuckle. Horrible, actually. I had to manually retreat an executor. Had to, you know, uh, that was it. I had to manually retreat an executor. That's the only way I got any damage going. Uh, but eventually, actually, our last two prize were shuckles, so we didn't even we didn't even get to shuckle one time. Eventually, I was able to get enough energy in the discard pile to knock out Coco's and Latios's, and was able to hit some pretty clutch Guzmas in there to heal poison when I needed it, which was pretty dope. Uh, but Alolan Executor has a ton of hit points, so uh, the, the damage just didn't didn't add up quick, no. Just played my fourth round against Nick Moses with his Malamar deck. We got in there, got a turn to 170 with a Alolan Executor, it was nuts. We got totally set up, we found our Shuckles, busted Shuckle, honestly, Grovile turn two, set the whole deck up perfectly, it was insane. Honestly, if the deck works this way every single time, I would not play any other deck. But uh, the deck could definitely draw weird sometimes. But uh, yeah, anyways, busted deck, pretty good, 4-0. Get uh, some store credit, so that's pretty sweet. And a good turnout overall, so shout out to everybody who showed up. It was a great time, a lot of fun. Something we do here at Full Grip is we believe in challenges. We believe in challenging our minds with games and then also our bodies with food challenges. So. Nicholas is going to be partaking in the Reese's challenge here. Now, what's the prize if you eat all 24 in what, 10 minutes? Yeah, uh, pretty sure it's like 20 bucks. 20 bucks, $20, <laughs> it's $20 if he eats 24. But if you fail, Nick, what, what happens if you fail? Uh, pay for what I eat. No pay for what he uh, ate. So how many packages is this, 12 packages? Well, it's, yeah. it's like 12 bucks, all right, so. 12 bucks if he's if he loses 20 that's a pretty big upside i would have been, i would have been down for that in uh in college yes college andrew would have done this 10 times out of 10. so uh pretty excited we're going to vlog a little bit of it and uh see how he ends up
champion, Nick Moses. Where's my 20 bucks? There you go. And Josh couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. Josh tapped out at 16 last time, so Nick is the champion of the Reese's Challenge. We were saying we need to put people's face on the wall when they complete a challenge here. He's got his 20 bucks. He's a happy man. Probably won't need a Reese's for, yeah, probably a couple weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats, man. What uh, what got you there? How were you? Was it was it tough? Uh, no, not really. No. <laughs> not even, not even <laughs> difficult. <laughs> Insane. What's up, guys? Hey, so we just finished up that little tournament. Now they got to play an old deck battle. I did. Yeah, what matchup did you play? A Nino Queen versus LVS. How'd that go for you? I won just narrowly. It was very close. Very cool. Yes. And now we are in the studio. I did a ton of work in here. It's literally been exhausting getting all this stuff ready. But I finally got the tabletop situation up and rolling. This thing was a nightmare to light, but check it out. The tabletop looks stellar, lit perfectly for those tabletop games. So we're gonna be getting those up and rolling here soon. And then I've also got two lights up here for when I do my gameplays and the blue screen, you know, the blue and black foam still up there, ready to roll. I'm trying to situate the, uh, the camera, the webcam, as you guys can see here, so that you guys can't see the ugliness that is that guy, right, when I'm playing gameplays, because you really don't want to see that. So if I position the camera just right, uh, you guys won't be able to see all that. But uh, the lighting does have to be different, obviously, when we're doing tabletops and then when we're doing gameplay. So that's why I've got those two lights up there for gameplay lighting, these three lights over here for tabletop lighting. The crazy thing is, is that I plan on putting a commentator desk over there in the dark dungeon area of my studio. We just got the table outside, so I'm excited about that. Gonna show that off once I get it set up. It's not entirely ready to go yet. So that'll be something that we're showing off here. But now at this point, we're like halfway done with the studio, honestly. I mean, I'm gonna put up a few more sound panels, I think. So we just got those in. Those are right there. I'm gonna put the sound panels up and I think I'll put some along this wall and I'm gonna put some along that wall as well so that we kind of just have the pattern kind of, you know, around the room a little bit and should look nice, should sound nice, should be pretty dope, honestly. I'm very, very excited about it. And that just about does it for today's vlog. Thank you all for watching the video. 4-0 with the eggs deck, busted eggs deck. It ran really smoothly, like Natalie said. She would probably add a Zeb Strika to it. And that just a one Blitzel, one Zeb Strika. And you have the Ditto Prism Star, which can also evolve into Zeb Strika. So that's really good. Helps smooth out some of the draws. And you can discard your energy. I had that one crazy game where I prized both of my Shuckle. And that would have been really good to have the Zeb Strika in the deck for sure. So that's awesome, 4-0 with that deck. That's the same list that I showed off on the channel a few days ago, so if you wanna check that out, I'll drop the list in the description below as well, but there's a gameplay up of it already. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and check out the Etsy store and Patreon stuff in the description below. Peace.